Hey, good morning, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel and another weekend vlog. Can't believe it's the last day of August already. My goodness, this whole year has just flown by. So that's super annoying. I don't know what is going on across the way, but for like the past week, something is happening across the little bayou, bio. No sound is more annoying first thing in the morning than like power tools and stuff like that. No, boo. Who knows what this site means? Seeing this cutting board in the background, who knows what that means? So it is Labor Day weekend. Jonathan is off on Monday. He has been itching to do something on the smoker. So we've got a little baby, a little brisket baby in there that we picked up from Costco a couple weeks ago. And that pork belly, he'll, he'll cut that up tonight um, and season it up or maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. The brisket's gonna go on the smoker today when he gets home from work. And it'll be done at some point on Sunday. We're trying to get some people to come over and eat it with us. Um, if we don't, that's fine because we'll happily eat brisket all week. But you know, you always wanna share. So um, lots of people have shared their food with us. So we try to get people to come over to our house sometimes too. All right, I'm gonna finish making my coffee and I'll check back in with y'all later. All right, I'm at Walmart and I need to run in and get, John then needs a pan, like a metal pan. He needs some non-keto barbecue sauce and then he needed, um, I think that's everything he needed. And then I wanted to get a couple things and I wanted to take a look at the shorts because someone told me a while back ago that Walmart had some good shorts and maybe they'll be on clearance because it's, the last day of August so I'm taking my chances coming so late in the season maybe I'll find something maybe I won't let's go inside. all right back from running a couple errands went to Walmart as I said in the clip right before this I did end up trying on four pairs of shorts um, I only really liked one pair and I bought them I'm fixing to show you them I bought another one of these dresses in all black um, and I think I got it in a large this is an extra large and it's way too big on me um, I think it's an extra large let me see what I ended up getting. Yeah, I got a large. This is a great angle. So I picked up the dress. It's a solid black. It is a large 1214 and is it was 10 bucks. And then I picked up these um, Levi low rise shorts. They are technically unhemmed, but they had like the seam stitch right here and right here. And I'm going to try to pop the seams and wear them with this like raw edge like that. So um, I'm gonna work on that and then take Milo outside and I'll show you the shorts on um, as soon as I get the little seams out. Um, so I pulled the seam out because it was rolled like that. And then that would have been definitely too short uh, for my taste. Um, so now they're a couple inches above the knee I mean, you know, I'm not super comfortable with this area, but honestly, it's just what it is what it is. It's loose skin. I've lost weight. I'm just gonna have to learn to embrace it. Um, if people don't like it, don't look at it. <laughs> uh, yes, I am in a bra, but y'all can't see anything, so you'll be fine. Um, I did try on the other dress and it fits perfectly. Kind of makes me want to go back. They had like an olive green. Why aren't you focus on me? There we go. They had an olive green and like a blue and kind of makes me want to go back and get the other colors. But I was going to show you. So this is the extra large. It was a 16, 18. It's way too big. And here's the large. It's a 12, 14. I mean, it is kind of weird in the pockets because it is like a t-shirt dress with pockets. But even the one that's too big. Um, the pockets are kind of like a weird silhouette on your body because where the pockets lay like on your hip. I don't carry anything in my dress pockets anyways because anything that I'm going to put in there is usually too heavy like my camera or my phone and it weighs down because the dress is like a little cotton dress so I don't use the pockets really for anything so it's not a big deal. Um, okay I'm going to maybe get something to eat. My stomach was growling so loud the store was embarrassing. 
Like there was a lady standing next to me and cause I stopped by Tuesday morning to get some more coffee syrup. And I swear I thought the lady was thinking that like, I was like passing gas or something because it was growling so loud. Like it's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna get something to eat and I'll check back in with y'all later. I think What you doing? Smoking meat. You're smoking meat? Yeah, I'm sneaking. That's what I do. <laughs> nuh uh. Not lately. It's been too damn hot. You haven't done anything in a while. Yeah, it's been 150 degrees here. As you see, Jonathan's home from work. He's got the brisket on the smoker and he's getting his uh, smoking tube started. That's what that thing on the ground is a smoking tube. But yeah, um, when I was telling, I'm talking to you now. Oh, when I was telling Dustin that we're that you've been missing it or whatever, mm -hmm. and he was like, "It's too damn hot. It's been too damn hot." Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, it has been, but you've been itching to oh, yeah, itching. to yeah. roll it out." Yep. So I was like, "Let's do that this weekend. It's a long weekend. You're off on Monday, so I'm not feeling very good again. I think." I don't know. I think my hormones are all out of whack. My hunger has been like kind of through the roof and I've been having headaches and stuff. I don't know. I think after this week I'm going, like after the weekend, I've been kind of contemplating since we're going to have a bunch of this meat, uh, maybe doing like a carnivore week. Cause I like, was, I've actually been thinking about that too. Really? Yeah. Well, cause like, I don't know if it's a hormone thing or maybe it could potentially be I'm eating too many sweeteners and maybe I'm just like having sensitivity to that. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, I think we need, need to do what we said. And I think either, you know, carnivore usually helps us with that. We can do that. Are you gonna light the, the lantern thingy? Yeah. Okay. Are you getting bit? Yeah, I am. Good morning, happy Sunday. I just got uh, Timmy, Timmy's trapped in the well, woken up by Milo. Milo uh, came upstairs and was like, Daddy's in distress. So I came down here and Jonathan was having leg cramps. Apparently he's been having leg cramps. What are you looking for, baby? I don't know. Did you take it in the bathroom? Um, Jonathan's been having leg cramps last night, which sucks. He was so, when he does a brisket, he sleeps downstairs because he checks on the brisket throughout the night. And, um, so I got to up in four hours, by the way. Yeah. I got four hours spread out over the night. So look out, man. You're ready to take this on the a, world. This is a new uh, new goal that was set for me today. And this time or whatever. Hey, at least this time it's not like Christmas or... Oh, where I have to deal with people. Where you actually have to go out and about. Like, yeah. we're home. If anything, someone might come over. But we're not going anywhere. And we might. We invited Dustin and Jen. They might come over. They might not. So, um... Yeah, we will. We won't have to actually like go anywhere or do anything. Yeah, everybody else is out of town. Well, it's Labor Day weekend. I know. Jacob and Suzanne are in Liberty. Jeff is. I know. I thought maybe we should have invited Jeff, but uh, then he, I saw he I has the he kids the, and he's the ranch. at the ranch. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So basically, it's Dustin yeah. and Jen if they want to come over. Yeah. Everybody else abandoned us. <laughs> We're not lame. Um, my dad's birthday party is today, but um, I had already promised Jonathan that he could smoke something this weekend. So um, I told my mom we probably weren't gonna be able to make it. All right, change of plans. I'm here at my grandparents' house for the birthday party. So yay. Which is definitely a good thing because I hate missing out on family birthday parties. I thought you were okay. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Thank you. Was this one? Twenty. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Since I've been out. And I was like, I've never been right here before. No, oh, your bruise is like so yellow. Yeah, it was woods before. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Soon there's gonna be no. Okay. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to I can't remember the last time I updated y'all. I think when I was getting to my grandparents' house, I told y'all that we had invited Dustin and Jen over, but that they weren't gonna be able to make it because Jen wasn't feeling well. So we invited Chris and Amanda to come over. And if you remember when we went to the demolition derby, um, that's Chris and Amanda. So they are coming over. They should be here in about 15 minutes. Jonathan is fixing to take out the brisket and start slicing it up. So I gotta do my job of taking pictures for him so he can put it on his Instagram. What? Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Me too. That much better left on there. Oh, I love you so much. Mmm. Wow. Happy Labor Day! <laughs> Good morning. What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Keurig. Calm down. You're being Calm very down. rude. I'm Calm down, Keurig. I'm starting my vlog. I'm not actually starting my vlog because it's a it's a weekend vlog, yeah. but I'm saying good morning for today. <clears throat> so how did it go with uh, Amanda and Chris? Oh, fine. Yeah. So Amanda and Chris came over last night. I did not vlog because I just don't. Actually, Amanda at one point even said that she didn't want to be vlogged. She is starting to get more comfortable with it. I do try to, you know, honor the wishes of my guests. And we just ended up, we ate dinner. Uh, Jonathan made that yummy, yummy brisket. We ate dinner and then we went outside and we sat on the patio all night and laughed and talked and had a good time. It was, just, it worked out well. I'm glad they were able to come. So now Jonathan is getting the smoker back out. I mean, it was out, but you know what I mean? Like <clears throat> back fixing to use it. He's gonna put that pork belly on there. Super excited. Um, he's never really done pork belly. So um, we're, we're excited to see how this comes out. So they cooked on the, so that's the pork belly and it cooked on the smoker for about how long? Mm, hour and a half? And a half no, about two hours, two and a half hours. Okay. And then he took them off the smoker, he's got them in the pan, and he put some of this Sweet Baby Ray's on it, sauce them up, and he's gonna put it back on the smoker for about th 30, 30, 45. 30, 45 minutes. So let the sauce get all caramelized on there. Looks good, babe. So yes, the sauce is not keto, but the last time we tried to do like a burnt in type situation with the sugar free mm. sauce it didn't taste very good to us because the fake sugars um so we did go ahead and make the sacrifice by using regular barbecue sauce with regular sugar but that's okay milo 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 um, anyways we're on a little little car ride with milo um Jonathan wanted to go to the up to the college to do some Pokemoning stuff, but unfortunately it's closed because of Labor Day. Yeah. So that didn't happen. But we still got to take Milo for a car ride. So yeah, it's so fun. He loves going for car rides. Yep. Yep. I forgot to show y'all the final product of the pork belly. Um, but here it is. It is freaking amazing. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're gonna package that up for the week. Fixing to heat up some brisket for tonight for dinner. Maybe some green beans or something. Yeah, we haven't had green beans in forever. 
we've just been watching the handmaid's tale on hulu today um we're gonna we have like two more episodes left something like that yeah so i think we're just gonna go ahead and heat up dinner sit down and finish watching that i'm gonna wrap up the long weekend vlog i hope you had a good labor day weekend if that's something that you do if any of you were impacted or going to be impacted by the hurricane, I hope that you and your family are all safe and that everything is fine. Um, I definitely understand those feels. A year ago, uh, no, two years ago, we were dealing with Harvey and helping my family clean up after that. So I definitely understand um, the impact of a hurricane. So I wish everyone well. Um, that's, you know. I don't even know what's, I haven't watched the news in a couple days, so I don't even know what's going on. Did it hit Florida? It's working its way there right now. Outer bands are just now getting close. Oh, I thought it was going to be there already. Um, okay, well, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>